Earth. We live on it, we breathe its air, we eat its food, and it's Venus's neighbor. But air pollution is changing all of that. Soon, we might not just be Venus's neighbor. Soon, we might become the next Venus. So before we start, we have to answer the question, what is air pollution? Air pollution is a gas, liquid, or solid dispersed through the air in a large enough quantity to harm living creatures. Some examples include sulfur dioxide, VOCs, carbon monoxide, lead, radon gas, CFCs, ozone, and I could go on and on. So what do these chemicals do to the environment or human body? Well, I can tell you. Sulfur dioxide is a key part of acid rain, which lowers the pH of lakes to the point fish start to die. Radon gas is a radioactive chemical that is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. It is also the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. CFCs are used in refrigerants and air conditioners. They destroy the ozone layer and is an extreme greenhouse gas. Lead is, well, lead. It is toxic to the environment and can be stored in blood, muscles, fat, and bones. First off, air pollution isn't confined to the outdoors. It can also be found indoors. Now, where do these pollutants come from? For outdoor pollution, most of the time it comes from producing energy by burning fossil fuels. Sometimes they can also come from producing goods. For, pollution, for indoor pollution, it can come from household cleaners, aerosols, and more. But you shouldn't place all the blame on power plants and cans of air freshener. The truth is, we are to blame. We are reluctant to move to renewable energy. We cut down trees and we drive short distances by car, all of which is contributing to air pollution. How do you stop this problem? Well, we could always move out of the modern era and live off the land, but I don't think many people would like that. So what is the reasonable way to reduce air pollution? It's actually a combination of solutions to make a large enough difference. How do we prevent it? Well, you can save energy, conserve water, ditch the old core, cut the out bonfires and garden organically. When you save energy, you reduce the amount of coal a power plant needs to burn. When you save energy, you reduce the amount of coal a power plant needs to burn to supply your energy. When you ditch the old coal, you won't be producing clouds of toxic um, soot and VOCs. Instead, you could walk, ride a bike, or use public transportation. In conclusion, Earth is plaguing our Earth so much that, if, that, it, that we are destroying life on it and heating our planet to high degrees. If we don't take a stand, all Earth could become the next Venus.